Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to bring you guys my first look at the Daisy Armor 3 mod multiplayer. So, a few weeks ago, I did show you guys single player for Armor 3 Daisy, but you know, just a few weeks later, and boom, we've got multiplayer. It's actually been available for, I think, a few days. It's okay, buddy, we're going to be fine. Um, but I just thought I'd play it now because why the hell not? And show you guys about it, of course, it exists. And also, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to install it as well because I did have some troubles myself just because this is a small thing which not many uh, install guides actually tell you which uh, you have to do. So, I'm um, just be playing it for a few minutes, uh, seeing what's happening. Try to get a weapon, try to kill some people. This guy I'm with right here does have a revolver, but other than that, headshot, Glenn. Good job. You can see it's got um, zombie ragdolls, which is awesome. Um, it is slightly buggy right now, uh, but you can do things to just turn your head, which is something you couldn't do in single player, as stupid as that might sound. Is that another person on his head? No. Uh, you can't actually do things like bandage and eat food and all that kind of stuff, because obviously you don't have a right-click menu. But you can actually scroll your wheel, I believe, once you've got a weapon, place a tent down, and you're able to put your stuff inside that, so it's not like you can't use tents whatsoever. And what I've heard also, as stupid as it is, uh, your character doesn't save. I mean, eventually that will be something which happens. This is actively being uh, developed. I believe the mod's actually called Zombies with two O's in it. Um, but obviously if I said, oh, it's my first look at zombie, uh, Zombies, it wouldn't really make too much sense to many, many people. Uh, I'm just thinking where the hell should I go right now because there's things like uh, the tents on there. I, I go over to the apartments and go say hi to all the Enfield friend, I guess. Um, but yeah, your character doesn't save, so you have to put your stuff inside the tent and then log off. So that's kind of weird, and also, like I said, you can't eat or drink or anything like that, or bandage. But, I mean, it runs really good. It looks really awesome. And it's going to be using all the graphical options you'll see in the standalone, like the volumetric clouds. And the actual mouse, which doesn't suck, like, completely. Like, the mouse is really nice in this compared to Armour 2. Like I said, it runs better. Um, it's got a nice lighting, so indoor environments actually look pretty dark. And it's pretty cool, to be honest. I'm looking forward to seeing how this develops. I'm not sure how hard the dev team, oh, zombie, I go there, are going to be really working on it, you know. Whether it's something we're just going to make work and then just leave it be, or if we're going to actually go in a separate direction as a standalone kind of thing and uh, make their own thing out of it. I'm really not sure about that, but it's pretty cool. Also, things like hatchets don't work, but you can go ahead and pick them up just like this. I actually don't have any room in my I'm guessing I've already got one or something. Uh, but let's see, there's my camp tent right there, and like I said, you can just scroll. As uh, soon as I find a weapon, I'll go slay some people, and then after that, like I said, I'll show you guys the installation. But I'll be back in a second, and go shoot some people. It's going to feel very satisfactory being able to shoot someone and uh, make them like fall off a build or something, since it does, of course, have drag uh, ragdolls now, even. And also, of course, you do have your clothing as well. You can find helmets and stuff, but yeah. I'll be back in a second, and see if we can slay someone. So there's a merrick shit ton of... Somebody's following this American man down here. Oh, there's some people down there. Okay, they're just singing, that's cool. I'm gonna go check the apartments quickly, go get a weapon, and uh, try to murder them. That seems like a good idea at the time. Well, it's probably a terrible, terrible idea. But I mean, at least it works a lot better than the uh, single player, even. Single player is really buggy, it crashed all the time, but I haven't had a single uh, error with this so far, which is awesome. Let's see, I'm gonna find a weapon quickly and uh, murder these guys. So you can see you can go ahead and uh, drag things in different menus and stuff like that. So you can, for example, put some different stuff inside your backpack. Um, so if they do implement some actual custom clothing, like actually Armor 3 beta is coming out very soon. So there might be some more custom clothing added in that, some weapons added in that. We are going to make, uh, well the guys who are developing, oh shit. The guys who are developing this are going to make it so that you can actually play on straightest, which is going to be pretty cool as well. Which is of course the Armor 3 map, well the only Armor 3 map you can play right now. But um, yeah. So from a tense research, I've actually found that you can bandage, I lied, you just have to drop it on the floor, um, and then, actually I might be able to show you guys, if you drop it like that and then bring it back, you can actually, oh I can't right now, but, uh, you can actually do a scroll menu and use a bandage, so I lied, you can actually use a bandage, so I'm assuming because you can do that, you might be able to use painkillers, might be able to eat food, who the hell knows, but either way, this stuff will be uh, patched and changed I guess very soon because it is a bit weird since it is an armor for you for different menus and whatnot. Uh, there is an actual launcher so you know updates are very easily distributed to everyone so that's very good but um, still as of yet found well I've, I've seen lots of people I just haven't found a bloody gun I might just go to Electro or something because it's not working too well over here I just need to find a landfill in fact yeah I'll check the pug, pubs even and I'll go murder some people oh shit what the fuck's happening there hopefully I'll be a dead person at least for me to lead I think right now the spawns might be Sherno only, but you know, it's just for uh, testing purposes, so it's fine, it will be uh, changed over time. Let's see if I can find out what's happening over there, though. So some binoculars, go ahead and take those quickly, and then I can use binoculars, it works. There we go, beautiful. Let's see if I can find a weapon in this pub as well, so I can go murder some people. 
Get those ragdolls on the go. Holy shit, a crossbow. I'm gonna get my world first crossbow kill. Are you guys ready? Because I know I'm not. Let's go for it. Let's take his landfill as well. Drop that shit on the floor and let's go. As long as I dodge for the landfill, shoot this in his head, it could it could be good. It could be uh, lethal. Oh, zombie I go to my right. I'm gonna go check his pub in front of me though. I think that's a person, not zombie I go. I don't even know. Going towards a gunshot. I think we're in this pub. And uh, see what I can find in my magical crossbow. I need to get a headshot to kill off this as well. It's going to be very hard. Ooh, 1911 there. I may opt to use a 1911 rather than my current weapon. Because a 1911 doesn't suck that much. You can see... Uh, oh yeah, actually you can't look down the aim sights on pistols. I've got no idea why. Again, like I said, it's very buggy. Well, not very buggy. It's not. It's nowhere near as uh, buggy as a single player. But you can do stuff like the different stances and stuff like that. So I can go ahead and change my stance. Do a little sitting stance. Go sideways. In fact, I'm not sure. Oh, I can't do it in this corridor. So, yeah. All that cool stuff. And also, of course, the different stance you can do for weapons. You can do, like, a running stance with your weapon. It's pretty cool shit, to be honest. Uh, let's see if we can find Leanfield, though. That's really all I want right now. Oh, Leanfield. It's GG, guys. Time to go kill some people. Cannot wait to shoot down some people and get the ragdolls. It's going to be beautiful. So, you follow the gunshots now and kill them. Now it's right fucking beside me. Holy shit. Here are people in. Oh shit, there's a guy right there. Shit, son. Oh, people are so fucking fast in this thing. There's like at least one or two people inside the corner shop. I'm gonna have to brutally murder these guys. It's gonna be really sad, but it's for testing purposes. It's fine. Yeah, these guys are dropping shit, man. This is gonna be really sad. Somebody killed me. Oh shit, son! What the fuck just happened? <laughs> There's like oh. three of them inside the corner shop. I'm gonna get back to the corner shop. That fucking ragdoll as well, man. That would have killed all three of them in uh, armor too, because normally you get passed out from the body shot for the Enfield, but the second guy I shot didn't go down. At least I killed two of the three of them. Although, like I said, in armor two, they all would have been dead. I'm now in Electro, and I've learned that what I said before about the spawns being all in Cherno, that was a lie. Um, I just assumed they were because I spawned like three times in a row in Cherno, but they're not. You know, I just spawned in Electro, I've spawned in places I've never been spawned in before, which is kind of weird. But um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and try to actually murder some more people. It is really fun because of the ragdolls and that. I don't know, just the movement and the, the aiming of this just feels a lot better. Oh, there we go, I'm bleeding. I can now show you guys a wonderful way you can bandage yourself. So, go ahead and... oh. Oh, there's a gun there as well. Uh, drop this on the floor, put it back in, do a scroll, and all of a sudden I can use bandage. So there we go. Go ahead and bandage myself, and boom, it works. It doesn't really work entirely, but at least that way you don't end up, you know, bleeding out. Let's go ahead and take the M9 quickly. And, yeah. Very beautiful gun. So I'm going to go ahead and try to attempt to shoot this zombie in the head, so I can show you guys the ragdolls a bit. It's going to be kind of... Oh, no, I can see my, uh, my thing and bob right there. Let's try to shoot the zombie right here. Come on, baby. Come closer. And boom. Boom! Oh, just like that. For this, of course, the errors on the screen, but you can't turn those off. I just I haven't done that. Uh, let's see. Where the hell is everyone these days? Loads of people in Cherno. Apparently no one on Electro at all. You know what's like better for looting? Kind of weird. Holy shit, a car! What the fuck? Car, plus stop, plus stop car. Plus, sir. Uh, plus. Please stop. No. So apparently you can get cars. That was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Oh, I've turned around. I don't even know. Yeah, I've turned around. Maybe come in to run me over. Who knows? Can I come in, car, please? I'm friendly. In sure, no. Oh, do you think? Hey, please, wait for me. Hello, friends. Hello. Someone, someone says, wait. I think we should probably wait for him, guys. Oh my god, you can run over zombies with ragdolls in this. Holy shit. What a fucking prick. Oh shit, I just pressed eject. What the fuck? <laughs> what a nasty man. Well, that was nice and pleasant. Yeah, where are you guys going? Can you go run someone over? Anywhere. Just run someone over. It's so it's so fun to run over people, you know? Well, there's no point in going up here. Just just go back and lecture and go try to run over someone, you know? Like, there's literally going to be no one towards Verazina, man. Where do we want to get out? Um, just somewhere near Electro would be good. I thought you guys were just going to go run over people, you know. I really want to run over some... In fact, if you could... Oh, like this guy over here. Should 
just run him over, you know, no problem. <laughs> yeah, right of us is the AK guy. Okay, you I'll just stop here. Thank you, thank you. Have fun, guys. Holy shit! Friendly Inferno! <laughs> oh my god. That guy was the guy who said come back to Electro and he'll, he'll help you out. Well, he, he wants to lift basically. Anyway, I'm going to stop here and I'm just going to do the installation. As you can see, it's extremely buggy right now. So obviously I'm not going to do any series on it or anything like that. But it is uh, similar to the single player. A lot of fun to just try out. Go kill some people. Have some fun with the ragdolls. Like, I can't wait to run over some people with those ragdolls, man. It's going to be so fun. Anyway, yeah, time for the installation. Right, so now on to the installation for the Daisy mod for Armor 3. It is very simple, but either way, people are going to ask me where to download it from, how do you install it, etc, etc. So here's a very short and very simple install guide on how you can get it to work. So, you do need a few things before you even try to do this. You need Armor 3, obviously. But you do actually also need Armor 2 and Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead, mainly because this uses assets from those like Shinaris, the weapons, the skins, and all that kind of stuff. So if you don't have those, then you can't get it basically. So make sure those are all fully installed and up to date. And once you've done that, just go to this website right here, zombiesmod.com. There'll be a link to it in the description below. You just need to register on it and go on this sub forum, go on this little sub thread thingamabob, and download the... Well, yeah, the install from right there. If it doesn't work and it launches and says, I don't know, something and it just doesn't open whatsoever, then, like it says right here, download.net framework. But I'm pretty sure everyone's already got that anyway. But if you're running a fresh install of Windows or something, then you might not already have it. So just go ahead and download that as well. But once you've done that, you just need to go to your downloads folder. In my case, it's right here. And extract the files with WinRAR, WinZip, something like that. And I'm just going to extract them right here because why the hell not? And then you'll see four different files. Just double click on Zumbi's Launcher. And it'll say, since this is your first run, you need, you need to download the mod, obviously. And you'll see this launcher right here. It's very easy. Press download. I know that was really hard, wasn't it? And I'll be back in a second once it's actually installed and show you guys what you need to do next. So there we go. It's almost downloaded right there. Let's take a few more seconds and as if for magic, boom. It will then extract itself and please start the launcher. Okie dokie. And I'll relaunch it and now I should say remote version 0.1.3 and installed version 0.1.3. So just make sure, obviously if it's an update, just click on the update button or something like that. And boom, it will update itself as if by magic. And other than that, there's only one more thing you need to do. You can see right here, it actually says you need to be running the dev build of Armor 3. And you're probably wondering how to run the dev build of Armor 3. It's a good question. Um, I did actually know this already, but I didn't actually read that. I kind of went a bit quickly through it and ignored it. But basically, go on Steam, right-click on Armor 3 Alpha, click on Properties, click on Betas, click on Development Build, click on Close, double-click on... In fact, don't need double-click on it. In fact, yeah, double-click on it and just launch it. And then it will download the Development Build, this is by magic. I wouldn't recommend ticking this box just because then obviously it's going to launch, but it's going to wait a few minutes for it to download the Dev Build. And again, I'll be back in a second once it has done that, which shouldn't take too long at all. Right, so there we go, it'll be done in our 10 seconds. Other than that, you're pretty much done. It's just the rest of the stuff is really, really obvious. You just need to click on, you know, the launch button on the launcher and it will work. Of course, if you want to go back to a normal build, just right click on it again, go to properties and change it back to the non beta as opted in and then just launch the game again and we'll download it back to a normal. Thank you, CSGO, for updating as well. So, like I said, once you've done that, just click on launch and everything will just work. It'll just launch the game with all the things you need and you'll be able to join the servers easy peasy. Assuming, of course, you do follow the previous step, otherwise it won't work because you can't join any of the servers. There will be a step-by-step -step guide in the description below if you do want to go ahead and check that if I confuse you at any point because I'm very bad at explaining things apparently. And yeah, I'll just wait a second and I'll show you guys that I can, of course, join a server. And this is where Magic Boom it works. How the hell do I, like... I was looking for so long to find someone on a server to shoot them and I just log on and there's a guy right there. This isn't fair. Uh, if you guys do want me to do some more gameplay of this, uh, just tell me what you guys think in the comment section below and I might do some. Right now it is a bit of in a weird shape, but I could go ahead and uh, go slay some more people because there is... Well, I don't know if it's just me, but it's a lot of fun to kill people, especially with ragdolls. You can see the zombies like, who do? It's on the floor. Anyway, there will be a step-by-step -step guide in the description below if you do want to go ahead and read through that. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all good stuff. And I definitely advise you guys go ahead and check it out. It's a lot of fun just going ahead and slaying people in Cherno and Electro just because we're lovely ragdolls. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.